back to DFM TV. I am Dan, the Fire Stick Man, your source for entertainment. And today we're going to be talking about viruses and malware that could infect your fire, you fire stick, fire devices all the way across the board. It doesn't matter where in the world you are. If you have one of these devices, you could be infected right now, as well as other Android devices. So if you're watching this and you have an Android box or some other devices, try this method. Tell me if it works for you. Leave it in the comments below. We love to hear what device you have and if this works for you and what I'm going to show you guys is how to install an application that's going to run a scan through your whole fire stick and it's going to find out which applications may be a potential danger of bringing in viruses and malware point you'll be able to make the decision whether or not you want to uninstall the application and maybe reinstall it from a different source or uninstall it altogether and save yourself the hassle because of virus and malware it's not worth whatever application you're installing on there before we continue on how to do this, I want to give credit to TroyPoint.com. This is the website that I went to to learn information about this particular application that's going to help you save your Fire Stick from all these uh, viruses and malware nonsense. So TroyPoint, thank you so much. If you're watching this video, I really appreciate all the work that you've done over the years. Continue the great work. And today we're going to be installing this application directly from TroyPoint's uh, website so if that helps him in any way support what he's doing I'm happy to help again thank you so much for a point for this great information I'm gonna be sharing with all my subscribers and everybody new that comes to my channel so let's get started guys the first thing that we need to do is we need to download the downloader application for those of you that already have this application just stand by me just for a second while I get everybody else up to date or you can fast forward the video just a little bit so you can get to the next part but how to download the application you're gonna go ahead and hit the home button and there are two ways of getting this application you can hit the voice command button on the top of the remote press and hold it and say downloader or you can go to the magnifying glass right there on the home screen like I'm about to do now go down to search click on search and you're gonna start typing in down as soon as you start getting a few of the letters in you'll see downloader appear at the very bottom you're gonna go down there and you're gonna click on it what I'm gonna do even though I'm already at this point I'm just gonna click on the voice command and get it with the voice command downloader once you do that it'll take you right into this orange application now we need to install the application and then we need to give it permissions and then we'll go back into the application in order to get the one that we're looking for which is called virus total it's a great application it'll scan the entire fire stick again and let you know if there's an issue with any particular application or danger of viruses and malware so Let's go ahead and click on Downloader. And for those of you that never done this before, it'll say buy it now, it's free, and it is absolutely free. For those of you that already had it and are reinstalling it, it'll say download it, you own it. Click on it, it's gonna get on the queue, it's gonna start downloading. Now, I am personally working with a 4K Fire Stick, 4K Max, sorry, 4K Max Fire Stick. That's what you're seeing on the screen right now. Um, I do not want you to click on Open just yet. Uh, for those of you that already have it, let's just make sure that your permissions are accepted and, and they're on for it to work. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and hit the home button. So don't open it just yet. Let's go to the right to settings. And let's go straight down to My Fire TV. And then we're going to go down to developer options. When we're in developer options, you're going to turn on where it says ADB debugging. And then for those of you that have a 4K or the second generation it'll say apps from install apps from unknown sources and it'll give you the option just to turn it on right here at this screen okay for those of you that have the fire cube or 4k max or something a little bit more advanced it'll say install unknown apps and then you have to click on that and individually choose the application that you want to give permissions to so that's what we're doing right now I want you to go ahead and find downloader and we're gonna go ahead and turn that on once we turn that on, we can go ahead and hit the home button and we're going to go scroll down to recently use applications and downloader should be there. If it's not there, guys, feel free to use the voice command or do the search to go back to the downloader application and then do this. But remember, you have to have it downloaded in order to give it permissions. So let's go ahead and click on it. And then you're going to get this pop up on the bottom that says allow or deny. I want you to click allow, click OK for the quick start guide and then keep tapping on the center of the circle until you get a keyboard to show up just like this. 
And here's where we're going to type in troypoint.com. We're pulling this application straight from his website to support him. Um, and I can tell you, because some of you may say, well, how do we know that this application is not going to be infected with viruses and malware? If that's where, because Troy Point, I trust him, and he does um, a great job in scanning his applications, making sure they're clean for the public to use. This is why we're pulling it directly from his website. Um, I could have done this for mine, but I wanted you guys uh, to to support Troy Point for all the great work that he does. So that's why we're pulling it from his. So troypoint.com forward slash virus. Now again, you don't have to put HTTP colon because it'll do it automatically. This is what you have to put exactly how you see it here. troypoint.com forward slash virus and you're gonna go down and hit go. When you hit go, it automatically is gonna find that file and it's gonna pull it and it's gonna bring it to, to your fire stick and then you're gonna go down into the right and click install for those of you that have a regular 4k you just get a little great pop-up with a little green Android on the top you do the same thing down to the right and click install and then once it's installed you're gonna click on done and now we're gonna delete the full file that we just downloaded okay because we already installed the application we don't need the file anymore so let's go ahead and click on delete and then delete again if you happen to skip that part because you hit the wrong button don't worry about it guys it's not a big deal we just want to get rid of it if we don't need it but at this point in order to find the application what you're going to do is you're going to press and hold the home button and you're going to press and hold it until the time comes up just like this once you see the time you're going to go to the right and click on apps once you click on apps you're going to work your way down and then you're going to find this application right there. It looks like a sideways M or a backwards 3. Um, anyway, this is the application that you want to look for. You're going to go ahead and click on it. Once you go ahead and click on it, it'll look kind of funky, kind of like stretch out. But it's okay. That's how it's going to work on the Fire Stick. I want you to go ahead and hit scan. Now, right now, it is scanning the Fire Stick for all the devices. That's how simple it is to use this application. You go into it, you click scan. But you will get a pop-up every time you use it um, because it was an, it was meant for some other device. So you get this pop-up here, analytics application, one run without Google Play services, which is not supported on your device. You don't have to worry about that. All you do is hit OK. It bypasses it and it shows you the results of the scan. And that's what we're going to do now. Just tap OK. And here are the results. Here are the applications. I go down the list, the applications that are currently installed on my Fire Stick. And on the left hand side here it shows you if this application it's okay now on the left hand side if it's yellow or if it's red those are potential dangers and those are the applications that you want to go in and either uninstall and get from a different source or uninstall and get rid of them all together now if they're green like you see mine here those are applications that are completely free from viruses and free from malware there might be some applications that you might download in the future where you go up and you see that it has a question mark kind of like media one right here this application, in my case, you guys are not going to find this unless it's through me, uh, but it is an application that is absolutely free and clear. It's just uh, the virus total applic application does not have enough data on this one to really determine what kind of application it's for. And But I can tell you that it doesn't detect anything wrong with it. It just doesn't know what the application is. I hope that's making sense to you guys. As you can see here, it says where it says detected zero, total zero. You know, don't worry about it. If it's, if it's not red or yellow, don't worry about it. If it's green, you're good to go. And this is something that you need to do and install it on all your Fire TVs, Fire Stick, Fire devices. And if you have a different device, again, Try it out. If this worked for you, if it scanned it, give you, uh, uh, give you the same results that you're looking at the screen right now. Leave it in the comments below. Let us know which device you have and that it worked, and and I would really appreciate if you do that. And that is pretty much it. This is the best way to find out if an application has a virus or malware and whether or not you need to get rid of it. Now, let's assume that you do came across one or two applications that give you uh, um, some sort of red flag. How do you want to install it? Really simple to do. You hit the home button and you're going to go to the right to settings. Go down and go to the right to applications. 
go to the very bottom where it says manage install applications and then at this point what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and locate that particular application that was giving you a hard time i'm going to go just randomly pick one let's say that it was um mx player okay let's say it was that one and then all you're going to do is two things you can look in the upper right hand side of the screen where it says press the play pause to uninstall okay that's a shortcut okay if you press that it'll tell you you confirm it'll free this much memory storage which is one of the new features that was brought into with the new update or if you want to do it the old-fashioned way all you do is click on the actual application and go down and click on install and I'm showing you both ways because some of you may not have the full update to get that that feature to press play possible and install so this way you just go click on the application click on install and then click confirm on install again and then the application will be gone and it will take all its garbage with it okay and that is how you install vital total how to uninstall unwanted applications and how to support short point you guys are always so awesome and leaving your comments always awesome and subscribing to my channel and ringing that bell notification but still for those new guys please I'm gonna remind you guys to subscribe like share ring the bell notification comment below and keep this channel moving forward again kudos to Troy point for uh, the great find on this application and you guys have been watching DFM TV I am Dan the fire stick man your source for entertainment until the next video guys Happy streaming.